Hi, my name is Paul Crownhart, and I want to spend a few minutes talking about the impact of worship. I suspect all of us have had times, uh, you probably have had them uh, as I have, where worship has been just going through the motions. When our children were small, it was not uncommon when all of us were in church that my worship experience was far from a close encounter to God. But most of the time, worship is very spiritual, and I want to share a couple of examples. A few months ago, Fran and I went to church on Saturday evening. I can honestly say that I was not in a very worshipful state of mind. But once the service started, I soon became very engaged in the music, then the lessons, the sermon, communion, and finally the benediction. And it completely changed my attitude. I started with a, I don't really want to be here, and I ended up with, I'm so glad I came. I felt very close to God, and it stayed with me the rest of that evening and into the next couple of days. I find that is often the case with worship. It is especially important for me to tune out what is going on in the rest of my life and focus on worshiping God. I realize that can be easier said than done, but if you try to do that at every worship service, it becomes easier as time goes on. My second example relates to the phrase, making a joyful noise to the Lord, and that phrase is found in both Psalm 98 and Psalm 100. This particular situation happened a number of years ago. Kim White, the daughter of Karen and Donald White, regularly attended the Saturday evening service at that time. Kim was disabled. She was in a special wheelchair and needed constant attention. I just remember her mom being so faithful in bringing her to church every week. She couldn't really talk with any clarity, and although I'm sure her immediate family had the ability to communicate with her, I never really felt that I could understand her. I was sorry when I heard that Kim passed away about a year ago, but instantly at that point, my memories of seeing Kim at worship each week came flooding back. Kim loved to sing along, fairly loudly actually, during the hymns. Most of us could not understand her words, it was more of a wailing sound, but she was singing. Her mom would always put Kim's wheelchair next to her own chair on the center aisle, and on that particular Saturday night, I was sitting a row or two behind her. During one of the songs midway through that service, with Kim singing in her usual loud voice, it suddenly hit me that Kim was making a joyful noise to the Lord. Well, I just lost it. I welled up with tears, knowing that in all likelihood God was enjoying Kim's worship way more than any of the rest of us in the room. I was really overwhelmed. I understood for the first time what those words in the Psalms meant. I will never forget the impact that Kim had on me at that moment. This was pure worship, pure the way that God intended it to be. Kim was not thinking about anything else but was simply praising God. My prayer for you is that you can experience pure worship on a weekly basis in the way that God desires for every one of us.